morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gordon Kyler. C'est un grand plaisir pour nous d'être ici aujourd'hui à l'occasion de notre troisième séance d'information publique. Today's meeting is for the Canada Lens Company Limited, or CLCL for short. CLCL is a self-financing federal commercial crown corporation activated in 1995 by its sole shareholder, the Government of Canada. Through its subsidiary, Canada Lens Company CLC Limited, it optimizes the financial and community value of surplus strategic government properties, as well as holding and operating certain properties, such as the CN Tower in Toronto. In this role, the company operates at arm's length from the government in acquiring properties for various federal departments, agencies, and crown corporations. It's now my pleasure to introduce Grant Walsh, our chairman. Thank you very much, Gordon. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Canada Lands, welcome to the third annual public meeting. It was an honor for me to, it was an honor and a privilege for me to have been selected to be the chairman of Canada Lands in 2010. Since that time, I have worked closely with the board of directors and the senior management team and have been impressed by the dedication of the organization to optimize the financial and community value of real estate properties no longer required by the government of Canada. Thus it is with Canada Lands, we look for leadership, vision, accountability, and results. And we are proud of each of those aspects of Canada Lands at this time. The work of Canada Lands, in spite of the fact that I'm proud to be a member of this board, the work of Canada Lands is not done by the board, but it is done by our senior leadership team, of course, our chief executive officer, Mark LaRoche and his team, and every employee that serves our shareholders across this country, whether they be in offices in Chilliwack, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal or Halifax, we are proud and thankful for the contribution that these people make to our vision and mandate. The company's impressive track record of success speaks for itself. Since its inception in 1995, the company has paid $392 million in cumulative distributions to our government. This is in addition to $7.1 billion in development expenditures that the company has stimulated in the private sector for past and current projects. An effective board does not guarantee an effective organization. However, most effective organizations have effective governance too. A combination of a good board, a strong CEO, a committed leadership team makes our success highly more likely. We are partners together in accomplishing the vision of Canada Lands. Thank you all for attending today. We hope that this year, which ends March 31, 2012, will have even more wonderful results than we've had in the past. Thank you. Mark Laroche, President, President Director General, va maintenant s'adresser à vous. I want to begin by expressing my sincere gratitude to my colleagues on our senior management team and to all employees of Canada Lands in all our offices across Canada for their hard work on behalf of the company in the year just ended. I also want to congratulate in particular our team at the CN Tower. This year, the CN Tower celebrates 35 years of successful uh, operations. I'm happy also to report that in 2010-2011, Canada Lands paid a dividend of $8.5 million to our shareholder, the Government of Canada, and also made $11.9 million in note repayments to the Receiver General of Canada. Même si nos résultats sont généralement solides, ils n'illustrent pas la totalité des réalisations de la société. Les projets immobiliers ont permis à la Société immobilière du Canada de franchir plusieurs étapes importantes en 2010 et 2011. Je suis fier de vous annoncer que nous avons acquis plusieurs nouvelles propriétés durant l'exercice qui vient de prendre fin, en fait, en 2010-2011. 
Avec un total de six acquisitions, la société a connu son meilleur exercice depuis 2000-2001 en matière d'acquisition. Alors que nous continuons de faire face à divers enjeux liés au transfert de biens immobiliers stratégiques de ministères fédéraux, la société a continué de travailler étroitement avec le gouvernement du Canada dans le but de dégager de nouveaux moyens d'accélérer le processus de transfert. Ces initiatives semblent commencer à porter fruit. I'd like to conclude with some thoughts about the next fiscal year. In terms of 2011-2012 and the year to come, I am confident that the company will continue to make progress on its major redevelopment projects across Canada. With all the new properties acquired in 2010-2011, our real estate team will continue to deliver award-winning communities across all of Canada in St. John's, Montreal, Ottawa, Mississauga, Oakville, Edmonton, Calgary, and Chilliwack, British Columbia. To the vast majority of our audience watching this meeting via our website, our YouTube site, I want to say that I hope you'll take some time to explore our internet site, www.clc.ca, and learn more about the work we do across Canada. This is truly an amazing company, and one that, as CEO, I have the great privilege to serve. I thank you. Bravo.